it is the Stone Age. It's an island nation with 700 distinct languages in which indigenous people live in the rainforest. I went there to run perhaps the most extreme experiment ever on organizational behavior. Building a medical hut in the middle of a rainforest and taking blood from people in the rainforest before and after they performed a work relevant ritual. What we found in the Papua New Guinea experiment was that the same mechanisms that allow us to work effectively as teams in the Western world also hold in the rainforest of Papua New Guinea. And so these mechanisms appear to be universal. So we had to know that it really worked everywhere before we could release this information. And that was an important part of the eight years of research that went into this book. My new book, Trust Factor, The Science of Creating High Performance Companies, asks this really simple question, which is, why isn't work an adventure? Culture is a really hot word now in business. We think about how to create high engagement cultures, and the research we've done shows that trust is a key component that really makes work exciting, productive, and innovative. And our research also identified eight building blocks to create a culture of trust. And these building blocks somehow magically have a nice, easy to remember acronym, oxytocin. O stands for ovation. That's my word for recognizing high performers. X is for expectation. This is setting hard but achievable goals that people can stretch to reach. Y is for yield. This is allowing people to choose how they execute projects. T is for transfer. Transfer is enabling self-management so people control their work lives. O is for openness. That's allowing information to flow both from leaders to employees and in the reverse. C is for caring. That's intentionally building relationships with others at work. I is for invest, and that's enabling both professional and personal growth of those you work with. And N is for natural, and that's allowing your authentic self to be seen and even being vulnerable at work. So it's based on research that I've done showing that this brain chemical oxytocin makes us emotionally connect to those around us, increases our trust in them, and substantially increases the effectiveness of teamwork. In the early 2000s, my lab was the first to discover that the brain chemical oxytocin facilitated trust, generosity, connection to others in a series of experiments in which we create a technology to measure oxytocin synthesis in the brain, we showed that when we are trusted, when someone treats us well, our brain generally makes this chemical and motivates us to respond in kind. So we showed essentially that oxytocin is the biological basis for the golden rule. If you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you, usually. And usually is where the rubber hits the road. And so we spent a decade digging into the conditionalities that promote or inhibit oxytocin release. As that work became popular, understanding where trust, where pro-social behaviors come from, companies started knocking on my laboratory door asking about how they can create trust in their own organizations. In our laboratory research, we've actually used synthetic oxytocin to show that oxytocin directly affects teamwork, cooperation, productivity. But of course, I'm not recommending that people at work get drugged. So it really took going into companies, talking to employees, talking to leaders, and then creating tools to measure trust non-invasively so that trust, this key component of a culture, could be measured and managed. The only way to keep and engage the highest performers is to create a culture of empowerment, a culture of innovation, a culture of growth. And those are things that a high trust culture provides. It's so gratifying to hear from leaders who have used our system to measure and manage their culture for high performance because I'm able to affect people at scale. So instead of just helping uh, one patient in the hospital or helping uh, a couple individuals understand how to connect better to each other, now we have thousands of thousands of employees who are more engaged in their jobs at work, who are more productive, and they're happier outside of work as well. So we have this triple bottom line effect. When you create a culture of trust, employees are happier, the organization performs better, and it strengthens societies by creating citizens who are more engaged with their communities, better parents, better spouses. And so that's super gratifying to me.